Welcome to Bomb Grillins. Today we're cooking a Dublin coddle. And we're using the Dutch oven and we're gonna be doing it in the fire. All right, let's get into the ingredients, what you're gonna need. The first ingredient you're gonna use is a yellow potato. We have about two and a half pounds here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna slice them into nice thin little slices, kinda like a potato chip. I think I used about eight potatoes. Depending on the size of your potato, it might vary. Go ahead and slice them up. There you go, little, little thin chips. Now what you wanna do is you wanna layer them on the bottom of your Dutch oven. So you just lay them out, kinda overlapping. Next up, we're gonna use a white onion. We've got two of them. Go ahead and prepare those. Once you got that all unwrapped, go ahead and slice it into some onion rings. We're gonna unwrap them all. All right, go ahead and toss that on top of the potatoes. Make yourself a nice layer of onion. Now for some garlic. We're gonna be using two cloves. Give it a nice little smash, and then mince. And then add that on top of the onions. All right, now we're cooking up some bacon. We've got about a pound of bacon. We've sliced it up into little bacon bits. Get that nice and cooked up. There you have it, nice and crispy. Now we're only gonna be using half of the bacon. You'll see why in just a minute. Go ahead and layer that on. Oh yeah, bacon. Next up is some fresh parsley. Go ahead and chop that up. Oh, whoa there, Turbo. Woo! That looks pretty good. Toss it on. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a second layer with all the same ingredients we just used. And add the other half of your bacon. Now for our brats. We've got five of them for this cook. We're gonna take them over to the fire and we're just gonna kinda brown up each side. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle. All right, now we got each one of those brats browned on each side. We're gonna lay that on top of all of our ingredients. We're gonna add some black pepper. And now we're gonna add a can of chicken broth. And a can of beef broth. If you want to, you can use low sodium to keep the salt levels down. Now we're gonna use some tin foil and we're gonna cover up our Dutch oven. We wanna protect our ingredients from the coals 
that might come in from the fire. Now, if you're cooking in the oven, you don't need this step. Let's prepare our campfire. We're gonna kinda push that fire off to the side and then put the coals to the other side. We're just gonna set our Dutch oven right on top of there. And now we're gonna cover the top. What this does is it kinda creates a oven effect. Now we're gonna let that sit there and cook for about an hour, checking every 15 minutes. Now after about 15 minutes, take your Dutch oven and rotate it about a quarter turn. Do the same thing with your lid, but do it the opposite direction. This is gonna ensure an even cook throughout the cooking process. Now halfway through the cook, we're gonna check in to see how it's doing. We wanna make sure that our broth hasn't boiled dry. If you need to, go ahead and add some more chicken broth or beef broth. And now we're going to add some sherry. A couple little splashes of that. Cover it up and continue to cook. All right, it is done cooking. Let's pull it out of the fire and let it sit and cool. Oh, oh yeah. That looks delicious. Okay. It's time to dish up and take a bite, so let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks delicious. We're gonna put a little bit of parsley on top just for a little garnish. Take a look at that. That look good or what? All right, let's take a bite. Wow. Might be a little warm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow, that is amazing. That is really good. Sitting in there with all of its sauces and everything and just cooking, for so long, it just tastes so good. And these potatoes, oh, they just fall apart. Oh, that is so good. That is excellent. Woohoo! Mm. Oh, and the, the bratwurst here turned out great. Ha! Ah. Mm. Oh, wow. That is an excellent dish. That is Dublin coddle right there with a little bit of a twist, a little bit of bomb grill and twist. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, more recipes in a fun, entertaining way, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button so you can be notified every time we upload a new recipe or go live. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I love the bacon too. The bacon is so good.